All right, let's keep reading here. God tells us to not fear. I am the first and the last. Ah, so Jesus made this proclamation that he has no beginning nor ending. So that proves that Jesus is Jehovah God. Jesus is not some created God or a lesser God like Jehovah Witnesses like to teach. No, he's without time. I am the first and the last. Now, to prove that this being is Jesus, look at verse 18. Oh, this can't be Jesus, you know. I am he that liveth, he's alive, and was dead, he died, and behold, I am alive forevermore. He's now alive again forever. What in the world? When did Jehovah ever live, died, and come back to life again? That's Jesus Christ. Show the verse, this is an infamous passage used against Jehovah Witnesses that they don't like. So use this verse against a Jehovah Witness, proving Jesus is Jehovah. He says right here, amen, and we can all say amen, amen. to that, and have the keys of hell and of death. So Jesus has the keys of hell and of death. How did he have these keys of hell and of death, Pastor? Ah, here we go. You ready? Let's have some fun. Okay, open up your Bibles to the book of Jonah, chapter 2. Jonah, chapter 2. Uh, which part to erase right here? There's, uh, just erase here. I feel like when I'm erasing something, I'm erasing something important. So <laughs> I'll try to erase the unimportant parts here. Okay. Let's look at Jonah chapter 2. So apparently, Jesus Christ, if we're going to go backwards a little more, uh, which I can't do, so I'll have to put a separate chart here. So we have right here the Old Testament, and then right here the church age. I wish I could combine it over here, but I can't do it. And then we have right here Jesus dying on the cross. Now, when did he ever have the keys of hell and of death? There's an underworld here. The realm of the dead. We're going to look at Jonah chapter 2. Now notice what Jonah said right here. When he was in the whale's belly, what you got to understand is this, is that he actually died and went to hell. And some people don't know that. A lot of <clears throat> independent fundamental Baptist churches don't teach that. Why don't they teach that, Pastor? Because they don't know much Bible. That's a sad thing. That's why it's so important to know your doctrine. When Jonah was in the whale's belly, he died and then he went to hell. Now some people would say, Oh, I don't believe that. And you believe Jonah can survive three days and three nights in a whale's belly? What in the world, man? And you think we're nuts for teaching this? No, it makes more sense that, obviously, he's going to die in there. So then, when he talks about, and he mentioned the word hell as well. A lot of people might think, no, it's just referring to the whale's belly here. But what you're going to find out, this is more than just the whale's belly. It's something under the world. You're going to see that more and more. Jonah chapter 2, verse 1. So this is Jonah in the whale's belly. Verse 2. And said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell cried I. See, so he went to hell here. Now, is it just the belly? Well, let's look at this. Verse 3. For thou hast cast me into the deep, in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about, all thy billows and thy waves passed over me. So he's under the sea. But look at verse 5. The waters compassed me about, even to the what? Soul. soul. Something affected his soul. See, he died. I mean, you see these words here, people. It says soul, and then it mentions hell. Well, let's keep reading. The depth closed me round about. The weaves were wrapped about my head. So notice right here, there are references where it talks about him in the whale's belly and concerning his body. But you'll notice it's also talking about the soul as well and hell. He's talking about both things, what's going on. Let's keep reading. I went down to the what? 
bottoms of the mountains. Look at that. See, he's underneath the earth here. He's below the earth. He's in the underworld here. Keep reading. The earth with her what? Bars was about me forever. Wait a minute. Look at that. So then he's actually in the heart and the center of the earth then. See, he's underneath the world right here. Look at that. He's definitely way below. He's underneath the earth. There's no doubt about it. Notice it says bars, right? Ah, something has bars here. It's like a jail cell. Jesus said, I have the what? Keys of hell and of death. So Jesus, he went down there and took the keys. Really? Hell has bars? Let's look at Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. Oh, uh, hell, hell doesn't have bars. It's not like a jail cell. That, so Jonah said bars. Something below the earth had bars, and that's definitely what's below the earth. Hell. It's a jail cell. Look at the book of Matthew. And then we'll look at chapter... Oh, sorry, I went to the wrong chapter here. So it's 16. Yes, thank you. Matthew chapter 16. Someone's been reading his Bible. All right, Matthew chapter 16. Notice right here what Jesus has at verse 18. Matthew 16, verse 18. I say... Also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the what? Gates of hell. Gates of hell. Ah, I told you so. <laughs> hell has gates. It's bar. Shall not prevail against it. That's why Jesus says, and I will give unto thee the what? Keys, Keys of the kingdom of heaven. See, I told you so. Okay. Now, let's look at the book of Peter. First Peter. Look at this. There's a heretical doctrine going around where they teach that Jesus went down to hell and he was frying and being damned in hell like a lost damned sinner. No. Jesus Christ, he went over there to conquer hell, to take its keys, not to fry and burn over there. Who would teach such a heretical doctrine like that? Some, somebody crazy and weird. Some crazy weird people teach something like that. If you're hearing, if you hear this from some YouTube channel that teaches something like that, you should stay away from such a person. Okay, let's look at 1 Peter chapter 3. Let's see if this is the case, if it's really like a prison cell here. Look at verse 18. Look what happened. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he, must, he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Okay, so Jesus died on the cross, see that? But after he died on the cross, what happened? Where did he go? Keep reading, verse 19. By which also he went, see, after he died, he went and preached unto the what? Spirits in what? Prison. Prison. Ah, how can Jesus be frying in hell ah, if he's preaching right. to the spirits in prison? That doesn't make sense, see? So notice right here, he went down there to preach at them. And it was a prison. See, scripture was scripture. People don't read their Bibles sometimes, sadly. All right, and then let's look at, uh, there are two more verses, but I'm not going to do it. Let's go back to Revelation. Let's go back to our main text. If you want to know about two more verses, it's Acts chapter 2. Simon Peter talks about Jesus Christ. He, when he was buried, he went down to hell. And then Ephesians chapter... 3 or chapter 4, it talks about when Jesus died, he first went to the lower, descended to the lower parts of the earth. Jonah said, the earth with her bars was about me forever. See that? They're all the same thing. And then it says, then he ascended. Then Jesus went up. That's why he got the keys of hell and of death. He went down there, preached at them, 
took the keys from hell and death and conquered hell and conquered death and the grave and sin. And then he stands, up, stands on top in victory, interceding on your behalf as a high priest. Amen. 